When I was a teenager, I learned to drive in a Toyota Lightis. It was a 1992 model, or was it a 91? And it had a five-speed manual transmission, and it was also color maroon. Now, fast forward to today, and the Toyota has revived the Light Ace nameplate. And in this video, we will explore and drive the panel van version of the all new Toyota Light Ace. Let's do this. Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I invite you to click that subscribe button for your regular dose of Philippine automotive content. If you're my subscriber already, well sit back, relax, click that like button and enjoy the show. Also special thanks to Toyota Valenzuela for providing the Light Ace panel van to do this car review. If you are within the area and you need any Toyota, head on down here and check them out. For any inquiries, you may also contact the hotline on my pinned comment below. Also, before we begin guys, if you find this video useful, you can also click that super thanks button and I will highly appreciate it. The Light Ace panel van provides an enclosed option for people who are looking to make the Toyota Light Ace as a potential business partner. In this particular configuration here, this light ace panel van will make as an ideal delivery vehicle or let's say as a service vehicle for your catering service or if you are a CIA agent and you're looking for a value for money surveillance vehicle. Now speaking of value for money, well price-wise this light ace panel van is quite competitive because this vehicle retails for only 655,000 Philippine pesos. Now that price level, my friends, uh, essentially makes this light ace panel van one of the most affordable or if not the most affordable uh, business van available in this segment today. When it comes to the design, well, the Light Ace panel van is as utilitarian as utility goes. You see, the front fascia is identical to the Light Ace uh, pickup from the all halogen headlight units here to the, well, to the dark gray front bumper, plastic front bumper right there. Now, this front bumper also has a very short overhang and we do have a respectable amount of ground clearance there in case you need to take your light ace panel van through some rough roads. Now guys, I have the nose open here and when you pop open the nose of the light ace, you'll see that we don't have the engine there because the engine is still found underneath the driver's seat. But we do have the radiator here, which should help the, the driver and the front passenger keep cool at all times. Now we also have the maintenance fluids found here. And to answer the question of uh, some of you guys out there, well, the light ace panel van and the light ace pickup are both equipped with an electric power assist system, so that should make driving this baby right here quite light and easy. The similarities between the Light Ace pickup and this panel van ends when you go to the side profile. Now, as the name implies, guys, this is a panel van, so we do have a van body here, but as you notice, we don't have windows at the back side of this panel van, so yes, uh, it it looks like it's more suited for covert operations. Now the good thing here is we do have dual sliding doors. We have sliding doors on both sides and as you can see, I already have the sliding door on the other side open and uh, we have a really big pass-through here guys because the panel van doesn't come with any seats here at the back. 
Now, as I mentioned, that makes it a great delivery vehicle, or you can even customize it to put like LED monitors and servers inside uh, in case you're, you, you're doing some, like some covert surveillance operations for, for Vin Diesel or The Rock, or something like that. Anyway, guys, let's close this sliding door there. And uh, when you turn your attention to the wheels and tires of the panel van, you'll see that it still has the same 14-inch steelies here as the Light Ace pickup. Uh, but the tires of the panel van are a little bit narrower than that of the pickup. Now, braking duties is still handled by ventilated disc brakes up front, drums at the back, and for the suspension, well, the Light Ace panel van still rides on MacPherson's for the front suspension, but it has a five-link coil spring for the back instead of the leaf springs found in the Light Ace pickup. Unlike some of the other commercial vans out there, the rear end of the Light Ace panel van looks just like any regular passenger van. In fact, guys, this rear end's design kind of reminds me of a, a high ace grandia, although, of course, at like 60% of the size. Now, we get uh, regular candy bar bulb taillights here, and we also have the light ace badge right there, although this is just a sticker, guys. And when you pop open this, yeah, this rear end, you'll see that we have a nice and wide and square opening here with a low loading lip which makes it easy for you to load stuff into this light ace panel van now because we don't have any seats then you have a nice and wide cargo area here so if you need to make large deliveries like for example a washing machine or or a gas range or even a, a piano uh, not the grand piano, mind you, but the regular pianos. Uh, those, those items can easily fit inside this cargo area. Just like the light ace pickup, the engine can be found underneath the driver's seat. So you just have to toss the driver's seat upward like that and you now have access to the engine. Now guys, what we have here is a 1.5 liter four-cylinder gasoline motor that puts out 97 horsepower and 134 newton meters of torque. Now the power is still sent to the rear wheels via the only transmission available to the light ace, which is a five-speed manual transmission. Now gentlemen, I did say a while back that the radiator is now found in the nose of the light ace, so that should help keep things cool here in the in the cockpit area but as I'm talking to you now well I could feel the heat coming from this engine so yes it could still get warm here uh, warm enough to give you maybe soft boiled eggs but at least it's not hard boiled eggs all right guys for a commercial vehicle, this light ace panel van is surprisingly well equipped here inside the cabin. You see, we get a bunch of amenities and convenience features here to make your daily drive and your deliveries as comfortable as possible. You see guys, we have air conditioning here. Now granted, it's a manual air conditioning system, but I did get to test it out and oh boy guys, that aircon? Yeah, it's pretty cold. Now, we also have a pair of cup holders here, which I will immediately subject to my 600 ml clean canteen test. We have the cup holders located near the AC vents to keep your drinks cool. But unfortunately, while it fits, guys, it's not really a full fit. So, yeah, but I would still give it a marginal pass because, yeah, it could still hold my 600 ml clean canteen flask. Now, another convenience feature here that I noticed is we get a two-din radio right there in the middle with a CD tray and it also comes with Bluetooth connectivity. Now, friends, as for the safety bits of this Light Ace panel van, as you're seeing on your screen, we do get a decent amount of safety bits there because we have ABS, we've got stability control, and we even have a couple of airbags, which is all well and good. As I mentioned a while back, guys, we also have electric power assist steering here. And I was also surprised to see that we even have central locking doors for your panel van, including the, the rear door. Uh, but we don't really have power windows. So yeah, you just have to make 
do with a manually adjustable uh, window here. Now guys, other than that, well, I did mention in my Light Ace pickup feature uh, that there is that one, two, three gauge found on the on the speedometer on the gauge cluster here and I ask you guys in, to tell me in the comments what you think that's for and most of you said that yes that 123 is really more of the engine speed or the RPM but uh, I'm, I'm sorry guys I will just have to disagree with you because I got to drive this already and yeah in order for that 123 um, area there to be the RPM or the engine speed you will need a second needle aside from the speedometer needle but we don't have that so I would say that that one two three yeah numbers there uh-huh yeah they're they're just design pieces guys they're probably just there as an afterthought maybe but if you still have the correct answer to that let me know in the comments below now guys, luckily the, the temperature gauge there is not a design piece. We need that. It's vital in this vehicle because this is used for commercial purposes. And knowing your engine temperature would always be a great thing. Now, before we go for our quick drive, guys, I would love to invite you to click that subscribe button and become part of the Reagan's Rights family, guys, because I always upload a lot of automotive stuff car reviews and all that so it would be a big help if you just click that subscribe button now at this point we're going to go for a quick drive around here in the toyota valenzuela complex so i'm just going to share with you what it feels like to drive this toyota light is panel van and uh, yeah how well it performs at least within the toyota valenzuela complex all right, guys, this is just a quick drive around here inside the Toyota Valenzuela complex because I am really just so curious with how this light is drives. And the first impression I have is the clutch of this thing, although it might be light, it has a really light clutch, guys, but the clutch engagement point is so high. It's so high that you really just have to adjust it. It's weird because yeah it's just so high guys and uh, you almost have to let go of the clutch before it even starts to bite and uh, that's kind of weird for me now luckily with these kinds of analog commercial vehicles that is a quick fix by just adjusting the clutch pedal to make it a little bit lower now another thing that i, that I uh, notice here is the the power steering is also pretty good. There is an electric power assist system. So yes, the steering wheel is quite light, but not light enough that you feel like you're driving an arcade game. It's, uh, it would be easy to maneuver this guys around because we have a small form factor here. So it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be easy to go through like tight roads, you know, tight Manila roads. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. The shifter is also pretty good. Uh, it engages immediately and unlike the light ace from the 90s where you can even start the car from the second gear, uh, this one you really just have to go to the first gear guys. And uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go up a parking ramp incline just to show you what kind of pulling power this light ace has, this light ace panel van has. We're going up a parking incline here. All right, let's see. So I'm going up now. And in first gear, yeah, we got a good amount of torque. Now I'm going up to second gear and uh, going up this incline, guys. Yeah, even in second gear with the air conditioning on. Uh, granted, we don't have a load at the back, but it could easily go up that parking ramp. So, yes, uh, given the fact that this is a rear-wheel drive commercial vehicle with a five-speed manual, uh, it's going to be quite easy to, yeah, to negotiate uh, steep inclines. Uh, even if you're running with a full load just you know just pop it in low gear and you're good to go as i'm driving this guys as i mentioned no way that that one two three is the rpm or the tachometer because yeah uh, it doesn't tell me anything at all guys it doesn't really tell me anything so it really looks more like a design piece to me now the good news here guys is okay we're going up another incline there see wow it easily went up that incline guys it's not a problem at all and uh, as I mentioned the good news air conditioning it's really cold guys so it's quite comfortable here now granted we don't have the chance to take it out to the highway 
but I have a feeling that the NVH will be terrible because even going around the Toyota Valenzuela complex, yeah, it, it's a little bit noisy and I could really hear the engine because it's right under my butt. Overall, guys, this light ace panel van is yeah, surprisingly easy to drive for a commercial vehicle. And uh, you just have to make that clutch pedal adjustment, make it a little bit lower because it re it's really high, guys. But other than that, yeah, this, my friends, will make a pretty good delivery, grab, lala move uh, vehicle. The sheer number of business applications that can be done to the Toyota Light is panel van simply boggles my mind. Now the fact that it also comes in a small form factor, it's relatively lightweight and easy to drive, and I'm pretty sure that the maintenance of this vehicle will also be light on the pocket. Well dude, if you put them all together, it looks like the Toyota Light is panel van has the makings of another Toyota bestseller. Thanks for watching.